Russian citizens took part in the burning of a ship of the Baltic fleet of the Russian army. A sabotage of a Russian vessel in Kaliningrad Oblast in April was part of a joint operation of the Freedom of Russia Legion and Ukraine's military intelligence project. I want to live, the agency revealed at a press conference by a Kiev independent reporter. The Russian missile ship Serpukov was set on fire on April the 8th while docked off the Kaliningrad exclave. The sabotage completely destroyed its communication and automation systems, necessitating lengthy repairs, military intelligence said. Certain Russian citizens carried out this brave and risky operation, which caused serious damage to the Russian fleet and revealed the current state of the Russian army, military intelligence said. A then-active service member of the Russian Baltic Fleet provided information crucial for carrying out the Rybalka operation, according to the statement. Once the person's continued stay on the vessel became too risky, the sabotage was carried out. The Russian service member also seized confidential materials and was subsequently evacuated from Russia through the I Want to Live project. According to the website of the Russian Navy, the Serpukov is a Buyan M missile corvette, is 74 meters long and contains a variety of different weapon systems. While Ukrainian attacks have reportedly disabled roughly one third of the Russian Black Sea Fleet, this was the first attack targeting a ship of the Baltic Fleet whose bases lie hundreds of kilometers from Ukraine. The defector, introduced under the codename Goga was present at the press conference. He said he had joined the Freedom of Russia Legion as a recruit and is undergoing training. Now I am in Ukraine. I will train and start fighting against Vladimir Putin's regime with weapons in my hands. Goga said. The defector introduced by the military intelligence agency under the codename Goga is now on Ukrainian territory as a recruit of the Freedom of Russia Legion and undergoing training, the agency said. The Legion is one of the several anti-Kremlin Russian militias who fight on Ukraine's side and have carried out several cross-border raids into Russian territory. Ukraine's military intelligence launched the I Want to Live project in 2022 to help Russian soldiers desert or defect to the Ukrainian side. One of the most high-profile defections took place in August 2023, when a Russian pilot named Maxim Kuzminov surrendered along with his Mi-8 helicopter. Kuzminov was found dead in Spain in February 2024, with the circumstances of his death resembling previous Moscow-contracted killings. Five people were killed and at least five others were injured in a collision of a train and a bus in Novzamki town in southern Slovakia on Thursday, officials said. The train was traveling from the Czech capital Prague to Budapest in Hungary. None of the deaths were among the train passengers. Over 100 of stranded passengers of Eurocity train are being transported by buses to the town of Sturovo on the Hungarian border. The injured were treated at hospitals in nearby towns and cities because the local one was closed after parts of it were flooded following heavy rain overnight. The Slovak railway company ZSSK sent its condolences to the families and loved ones of the bus passengers who were injured or lost in this accident, in a Facebook post. Among the five injured is the train driver, a Czech national, who had minor burns. The main railway track linking Bratislava and Budapest has been closed following the incident. Slovak Interior Minister Matas Sutai Stok is heading to the crash site, according to police, while Peter Pellegrini, the president of Slovakia, offered his condolences. I wish the injured a speedy recovery and thank the doctors and rescue teams for their work, he said.